holiday tasty traditions. We're taking a tasty tour of holiday traditions right here in Philly, starting at the place to go for authentic Polish cuisine, Chev's in Port Richmond. What exactly does Polish Christmas look like? A big, big, big dinner on Christmas Eve where you have your kielbasa, your pierogies, and everything like that. We do the cheesesteak one, which everybody kind of snubbed their nose at at first when we came out with it, but they love them once they try them. Can you show me how to make them? Absolutely. One of the girls is going to show you how to do it. Maybe we can hire you full-time here. You know, we can always use extra hand this time of year. We're always short-handed. I love it. I can always use a little cash. Yeah. Time of year, you know what I'm saying? That's always a great idea, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you take a piece of dough. Okay. And this is called the crimper. You put this on there, right in the middle. And you just kind of take a handful, put it right in the middle, you press it down. And then you spray around the edges. And then we squeeze around the edges just for a little extra love. This place is seriously in demand, especially around the holidays. Just how many pierogies and kielbasas does Chev's go through in a day? A normal day, it's hundreds, maybe say hundreds of dozens. Normal day, once the holidays run, we're talking thousands and thousands of dozens. But before a big holiday meal, you need to tide your guests over, and that's where Italian Christmas does it right. I stopped by DeBruno Brothers in the Italian market to make the perfect cheese board. This will keep them at bay while I'm cooking the rest of the dinner. Make sure there's plenty of prosciutto, make sure there's plenty of our cheese spreads for people to, to nosh on, and, and of course, salami and, and pepperoni. So our roasted peppers, which, you know, we get from Italy. We'll drizzle a little aged balsamic on top of the uh, Parmigiano Reggiano as a little compliment to that. And then we'll just add the last uh, piece de resistance, the provolone. You gotta have provolone on an Italian cheese board. A lot of people buy them for stocking stuffers. So if yeah, I was okay. a kid, and I got a bowl of provolone in my stocking. I would have been so happy. <laughs> that looks so I delicious. Know, it's so good. What are you gonna have? I'm gonna have pieces have of provolone. provolone too. So yes. what I do is I take them the provolone and the pepperoni oh. and I pair it up. And we can't forget about dessert, so it's back to Port Richmond for a taste of Germany at Stocks Bakery, where the phones are ringing off the hook and customers are lined up down the block. Mostly we do is, is we do pound cake, and that recipe uh, came with my grandparents and great-grandparents over from Germany. We are very consistent with what we do. Uh, we don't make changes for any reason, and we don't mess with what works. Merry Christmas. It doesn't matter if the pound cake is of German descent from Stocks. We'll go to Scherzer's to get the Polish kielbasa. If it's great, it's great. And we tend to all enjoy eating and celebrating around the kitchen table with really great food. Talk about a delicious way to round